Good morning. I'm going to show you my laundry routine over a week. And I wash a different basket on every day. Um, my laundry routine is not perfect, but this is what I do and currently it's working. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So on Mondays I do the boys' room. So let's go ahead and get the basket. Just letting you know what I do for my washing over the course of a week and today being Tuesday I like to wash the dirty washing basket that it is that's in mine and Luke's um, bedroom so here it is here it's looking pretty huge Whoa. and here is what I hung up yesterday still drying and here we've got two clean baskets that are mostly folded that I need to put away. So what I normally do is, um, I normally um, put on like a load in, in the morning. And then when that's finished, I put on a second load. And once they are finished, I um, hang them out after lunch at about 2 o'clock normally. So, um, normally between 2 and 3 o'clock, I'll spend about an hour hanging up washing, folding up washing, and putting washing away. And that's what I do. I put it on in the morning, then leave it, hang it out after lunch, and then about between 2 and 3 o'clock, I fold up as much as I can get done in an hour. And whatever doesn't get done, I just put it aside like this, like this stuff here like that is from oh, I don't know probably three or four days ago and I still haven't got to it yet so I put on the oh hi Francis oh, there he goes okay so I will hopefully I'm gonna get to this this afternoon so um, yeah I probably folded that up I probably did this on Saturday and it's all folded and it's been sitting there and I've just been very busy and you know what, if I don't get it done all in one day, I'm fine. You know, some stuff will sit here for a while and that's okay. I will get to it. I always eventually get to it and that's okay. So like I said, my washing routine isn't perfect, but it's working for me. And for years I was behind in my washing and something that's really helped me to be ahead now is this big washing machine. We got this uh last year no it's the year before now and it is awesome it's a fisher and Pico wash smart 10 kilo washing machine top loader and it is huge and i love it it was a very exciting day the day i got this it was great so i'm going to put on mine and luke's basket this morning and hopefully get to the bottom of this basket today and get this folded up this afternoon and this folded up this afternoon and I'll show you can you might be able to see there out the window there's actually a load on the clothesline too that's dry that I need to fold up and bring into which I also hope to get done this afternoon so I'm gonna get to this now okay it's now about 20 past 2 in the afternoon We've had a good morning and the washing has just been sitting there waiting for me. So now's my chance to, hang on, there's Willow. <laughs> she's going down the slide and she's going, Wee, are you going down the slide? 
Yeah. Okay, so I got a bit distracted by the cute one-year-old. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and fold up all that washing that's on the line and hang up two loads and fold some more and put some more away. So better get to it. working on folding up all the washing now in the laundry for probably about 25 minutes or so. Um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like once I bring all the washing in. Um, I sort it out into different tubs, one tub for every person. And then I put the tubs um, on the end of the kids' beds, the older three, and they put their own washing away. So this is what it looks like. Um, I've got willows, hollies, and savannas, and... What's the matter? You want a drink of milk in there? Yeah, you can have a drink of milk in there. You go ask Daddy. Daddy's in the kitchen. You get your drink of milk in there. So Dad, please have some milk. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at your washing. Oh, it's a bit noisy in here because there's our dishwasher also in the laundry. Um, anyway, we've got Francis and Arrow's washing, so I'll just take their washing and I go sit it on the end of their bed and it's their job to put it away into their drawers. And then there's my and Luke's stuff uh, give down me there. Give my toilet in. Yeah, and I put away the little girls, don't I, Holly? Oh, Mummy puts Willow. away Holly's, that's Willow's, and Mummy puts away Willow's clothes. And I put away Holly's and Willow's. And then the older three, Savannah and Francis and Arrow, they put away their own washing. Hi guys, it is now Saturday here at the Goddard house. And I think in my other videos that I was doing earlier in the week, I only made it up to Wednesday, I think. So this is what I do for the rest of the week. Right, in a perfect world, in a perfect week, this is what would happen. On Wednesday, I will wash the, um, the girls' basket in their room. It usually takes up about two loads. And then I hang it out after lunch. And the previous day's washing, when I'm out there, I'll fold it up straight off the line and bring it in. And I will then sort it out into all the different tubs like I showed you and then put it um, on the kids end of their beds and in their rooms for them to put away and then I put away mine and Luke's clothes and I put away the two little girls clothes. Um, so that's what I do on Wednesday. On Thursday is kind of like a catch up day and I'll wash this basket here that's in the laundry. And then I'll also, and then in the afternoon, I'll hang that basket up and I'll fold up all the little girls' clothes, bring them in and sort them out into the tubs and then go put them away. And then on Fridays, that's my linen washing day. And so I will just check all the sheets. If they're looking like they need a wash, I try to wash them um, at least some of them need doing weekly, some I do fortnightly. So I'll see which sheets need washing and I wash the sheets and I also put in all the towels, the tea towels, the flannels, um, bath mats, the hand towels. I just grab all the linen in the house and I get through it all on Friday and then I hang it out. And then on Saturday I will fold it all up, bring it in, put it away, Saturday afternoon and I... Also, Saturday morning, I'll put on the two boys, they go to school, their school uniform. I'll wash that on a Saturday, and that's all the washing I do on a Saturday. And then on a Sunday, I try not to do washing at all. So, here's Willow. Hi. How are you today? What do you got there? 
You got a container? How are you today? Hey? Willa is happy. We had pancakes for breakfast because it's a Saturday. And we have pancakes on Saturday. Sometimes we have bake, uh, like bacon and eggs. Um, this morning we had pancakes. And it was very yummy. So I just told you that's what would happen in my perfect week. But of course, this is real life. And real life is not perfect. And that's okay. So back to real life. This is what actually happened this week. Um, I'm behind. So I'm going to spend most of this morning catching it all back up again. And I know I'll be able to catch up this morning. It should be fine. This is what happened. Yesterday, I was not feeling well. I had a headache. Um, I was just feeling really crummy. I had this achy body and I felt so fatigued and tired. And I ended up spending most of the afternoon lying on the couch watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I like watching the epic Brandon family vlog at the moment and I really like Jay Morrell's large family table. So they're my two favorite vlogs at the moment. So I wasn't feeling good and I didn't do any washing at all. Um, I did manage to vacuum the lounge room because Friday morning is supposed to be my cleaning day and that's all I did. So um, I've got like a little bit behind. So this is what happened, um, this basket here is of wet clean washing and that has been sitting there, no joke, since Thursday afternoon and I have not hung it out yet because I, like I said I was not feeling well yesterday and I was going to ask, um, I was going to ask Luke to do it for me but he was working all morning and then he ended up taking all the kids to the library which is what I quite often do on a Friday afternoon and he did that for me so it didn't get done and you know that's just that's just real life and I'll hang that out this morning and I think it will be okay I've had it sitting out in a basket and not in the washing machine so I don't think it's moldy or anything I think it should be fine and then I have all of this this is like three baskets full of clean folded stuff that I'm going to sort out and put into all the different baskets and put it away. So that's what I'll be doing this morning. So that is my weekly washing routine. Like I said, and like you've seen, it is not perfect, but it works. In the perfect world, it works. But you know, when it doesn't work, it's okay. I wasn't going anywhere this morning. I was having a Saturday morning at home, so I can catch up. It'll be okay. We will have clothes to wear. And you know, sometimes I think as mums, we can have these really like high expectations on ourselves to have everything perfect all the time. And you know, we feel like, oh, we could, you know, we've got to be caught up with the washing or, you know, we can think that we're not good enough or we're not good, as good as that person because that person's, you know, they've always got such a neat and tidy house. But look, like, we're all different and we all have limitations and, I mean, I know when not to push myself because I get really tired sometimes and I can get overwhelmed easy and... I can get just worn out easy and I just got a sensitive personality and I know that if I'm feeling stressed that I just need to have a just an afternoon resting and that's okay that's me and you just do whatever you need to do as a mum and you know your own personality and you know your own limitations and and that's okay so you know, don't try and do what other people do. Don't even try and do what I do. Just find something that works for you and stick with that. So, bye.